Okay, got things a lot closer now. Okay, so when you slide this thing in here now, you can see how the taper is pretty close to even right there. See, it just goes right in zero. It's almost perfect in there, and the needles don't really move when you hit it. Goes up a little bit. Okay, so zero point. This one here is basically zero. This one here is about a half up. So you gonna touch it, pack this thing all the way up, crank some tension on it here. And you can see how this thing goes up. About one and a half thousand, two thousand maybe. And this one over here goes about a one thousand maybe. Probably not quite. Maybe one. Okay, so that's gonna take two thousand out of this, which will help us on our being cut too small on this side. So that should hold it. What are we doing here? No. Backwards. I actually wanted to go the other direction with it. Okay, I can play that some more. Went the wrong way. I was the other way for a while. Okay, we're cutting too much on this already. So we want this to go not cut more, I want to cut less. So it needs to go negative. We're going positive. Okay. So I gotta let this come toward me. No, I gotta go away from me with this one. So I'm just loosen this up, tighten the other side up. That'll do that. Now I got 20 thou of shim under here. And according to that we need more. So 20 is a lot. Because it's it's going up a little bit, see. So to take out eight thou worth out, I've had to take twenty out of here. So it takes like it needs like another five thou more in this one. So I think I'll throw another shim and a thou and a half into there. That the ones I cut off. They're floating around here somewhere. They are these ones here. I think I'll put these up under here. And I'll cut these down to the right length. These are 10, they're about a half, they're about an inch too short, so I'm gonna go make some long ones under here. And then I'll come back and redo this. Hopefully be closer perfect. We'll see. Alright, we're back. So now they only got a valve going up. And uh, maybe three quarters of a thou over there. On that side, but it keeps changing every time you do this thing, so every time you bring this thing back in and recenter it, it changes slightly. And almost a thou there, and what do we got over here this time? See, this time we got nothing. So. If you don't like what you get, just come back and do it again. This time, I keep playing with this a little bit, but it's, it's twice in a row. I decided not to do it anymore. There, now you give it a big crank, it does that. It doesn't matter which pressure you put on it. Yeah, that's what it is. So you give us a big crank here, it kind of twists it and screws up this dimension. Yeah, see that changes it. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. So I got uh, the two ten thou shims going side to side. And then I got two one and a half in there. So I got 13 thou, or 23 thou of shimming under here. And nothing on the front and that's tilted it down enough to make it work now this goes out further it's going to affect that but it's kind of where the average is where i put it so anyway it's it is what it is all right so now i need to do a test run and see what we really get i guess <laughs> so 
I need to make a pass on here and see what it's really going to cut. All right, we'll leave that. I'm going to pass that here. And we're going to uh, free pass the last pass. See how close we're going to get this time. Cut three fouls. Okay, let's see what number we got this time. Yeah, that doesn't work with one hand. I need to be able to hold it better than that. Finish to getting better too. Alright, let's see what we got here. Three and a quarter. It's three and a quarter if you can read it. Here. It's three. Three. So we're still a quarter thou off. I think it's close enough. That's a six inches or a quarter of a thou off. That's pretty close. So I wound up moving this quite a bit. This doesn't consistently move, so I got a pretty good step on here now. But uh, there we go. When you back it off, you see how it comes in nice and even right there. And all the way around. Okay, so still got that same quarter of a thou in there. I can try to get it some more by tightening this side over here a little bit more. I already did that and I didn't make a change, so it's pretty close. So I'm thinking we're probably getting a quarter of a thou and six inches is not that bad of a deal. It's actually pretty damn close. Okay. I was only holding on with that much. Now it's holding out there nice and steady way out there like that. Okay, and I'm going to flip this around. I already put this center in there before, so it should be on center. Jaws feel a lot rounder now than before it wasn't very round. Still a little off. are still not perfect on the inside. So no one of my ways. Go after it. Did it cut? And how accurate is my jaws rechuck? That's what this is. Pretty damn close. Needles twitching. That's really, really close and digging back up. That's pretty amazing. So we did, we took it, we were holding out here at the end, we turned that straight, we unchucked it, stiffed in here, got this much jaw on it. A lot of it. 
clamp down on it and we're basically a twitch four inches out. That's two tenths. That's incredibly close. The lathe may be a pile of crap, but I can make it work. Um, that's good. I was happy with one of the towel. Quarter of a thou. That's really nice. So we got a quarter of a thou taper and six inches, and I've got a refutability of a quarter of a thou and four inches. Uh, four and a half inches there. That's pretty damn nice. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. Well, let's see how close that looks. That's pretty close. Okay, now that's the center I put in before on the other side. Looks like it's going right back in there in the same spot. So that's repeatability there also. Okay, now we're just going to turn that down the rest of the way over here. I forget what number I had that set up. Basically, it was about five and a half. Give or take. Say. It cuts really, really close. It's actually a quarter tile smaller than this side here but for the noise. A slight difference there is there, but you can't feel it. You can see it. Yeah, right there. You can I didn't kind of feel something. Very faint. Uh, about two and three quarter. Three and a quarter. Half a tile difference there. It's pretty close turning. A lot of times you get a pretty noticeable step. I'm surprised you get that much of a step with only a quarter pound of difference. But 
go to show you. Everything's not perfect. It's hard to make everything perfect. You can see so little. Such a little amount you can actually see it finish changes. Chamfer over there. Okay, now we got a nice straight piece of metal. Two centers on each end. Pretty damn nice. So that's how you do your testing of your machinery. You cut metal and see what you get. Three and a quarter there. Three and a third. Three. Yeah, we're only getting up to a quarter, but though maybe it's about all you're really measuring difference in these things. It's pretty damn accurate. If you go way on down here, high three, it's three and a quarter. I don't know if you can see the number, but it's there. All right, I'm happy. It's about four hours of work. Get the lab accurate, but now it's accurate. That's what matters. Now I can work on this knucklehead over here. That's what this is all about. Actually, it's more than four hours, probably five hours of work. So I gotta make a, a bushing here. I gotta move this hole over 20 thousandths. I gotta make a bushing that goes in this hole here, and I gotta make it accurate. So I want my lathe to be accurate. So my accurate, last time I used my lathe was off by 15 thousandths. Pissed me off. So. Now I'm off two tenths of a thousand, so I'm good with that. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna work on the knuckle. I got the head, machine all squared up. It's within uh, two tenths on uh, being square, and whatever that is, eleven inches of spinning, ten inches, whatever the distance from here to here is. And so that's pretty accurate. So tomorrow we'll get that case uh, jigged up on there and do some cutting. All right, my tools are working. I'm happy. Alright, that's it for tonight.